I'm Michael Mulman. I'm from Oklahoma City. So I grew up at uh, St. James the Greater in South Oklahoma City. And then uh, later on, I went to college at St. Thomas More, which I call my home parish now. So I just started my fourth year in the seminary. So my first year in seminary, I did a spirituality year, which is kind of like a year of prayer. So all year, I had no cell phone. I lived with 20 other guys, and we pretty much spent most of our time during the day reading the Bible, reading the catechism, and then we'd go to classes to help us learn how to pray better. And we did that for a whole year, and then they, that end of that year sums up with doing a 30-day silent retreat, which I got to do in South Dakota at Broomtree Retreat Center. And then following that, I um, went into philosophy, and I got to study Aquinas, Plato, and Aristotle with some of the best professors at St. John Vianney in Denver. And I did that for two years. Uh, it was kind of a love-hate relationship, but I persevered. And now I'm on my way to finally study theology. And I have four more years of theology until I can become a priest. And only three years to be a deacon. So I'm pretty much at the halfway point right now. Almost there. St. John Vianney. I would say my favorite saint is St. John Vianney. Uh, mainly because he is the patron saint of secular priests and that's what I'm studying for so I figured I need a lot of intercessions from the patron saint of priests and he's a good one to go to. I also go to school there at St. John Vianney Theological Seminary in Denver and uh, we have a relic there and we had an opportunity I think here in Oklahoma City we've also had his heart go on tour around America and last year I got to see his heart three times so I really felt like he was following me around and really wanted me to ask him for his prayers. And so he became a big intercessor in my life while in seminary. Uh, well, one, I thought he was creeping on me and just asking me to help, uh, asking me to come to him for help. And, uh, and I've really had felt a lot of his prayers uh, just help me persevere in seminary. And uh, I've gotten to read um, a little bit about him and have been really inspired just by his humility and his loving heart for Jesus and the people at the parish. And it's really inspired me just to see uh, and to understand better what does it mean to be a priest and to, um, yeah, just continue to work on myself to be a priest, uh, the best priest that I can be um, for God and for all the people in Oklahoma City. So. One of my favorite things to do when I have enough free time is to go out to the golf course and golf. That's one of my, it's one of the things I picked up the most in seminary. Uh, just on my days off, on the Saturdays there, I would go out and play with some of my closest friends. And it's just great to be outside and to play a sport and just to enjoy each other's company. Another thing I like to do, I really love reading novels. Uh, yeah, I got a Kindle for one Christmas and I uh, just have been asking a lot of seminarians what are their favorite books. Uh, reading wasn't something I was that into growing up, so there's I found out there's a lot of great books out there that uh, I'm just learning about and really enjoying reading. And whenever I do have spare time while I'm, I don't know, just around the house, I love to listen to audiobooks too. And or if I'm on a long drive uh, from Oklahoma to Denver, I just pick out a really long audiobook and uh, just enjoy. Uh, just hours go by while I'm listening to it. So. Uh, I would say those are some of my favorite things to do when I have some downtime. Uh, chicken. Uh, football. Ooh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, I really like alternative music. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, Stranger Things. Oh, I, for some reason, I always come back to Romans. I don't know why, but Romans has really, I just come always back to that when I don't know what to read in the Bible. So. Uh, ooh, um, uh, uh, sweet potato, does that okay. count? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, the chicken sandwich.
which one's spicier original. Okay, sometimes it switches. Sometimes I feel like a spicy one, then original one. I don't know, anything in Chick-fil-A sauce. So I'm really excited to be with you all this summer at Holy Spirit. Uh, it's really a great opportunity for me to come here while a brand new church is being built and to see all transition in there. I'm just uh, super joyful for y'all that you get to have this great space to worship God and I get to be a part of it while you're uh, just all of you are getting to enjoy a lot of the fruits that uh, have been that have been reaped to build this place. And it really is a beautiful place. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be here at Mustang uh, with you all this summer to be with Father Jacoby and the, and the wonderful staff he has. Uh, I think this will be a, a wonderful um, summertime just to work with y'all and to get to know you. And so please continue to uh, come and introduce yourself to me after mass. I would love to meet you all. And um, if y'all ever wanna hang out or if I can come visit you at your homes, I would really enjoy that too. And if there's any way I can pray for you, please let me know. Um, y'all have been great and I feel really welcomed here and uh, I'm just um, can't wait to see what the summer holds. So thanks again.